Oh, what up, fellas? Tune into WDBL with True Interview. You'll see Ash, Kelvin, and Wilden. <laughs> Welcome, Fred Before Bed. How you doing, my guy? Good. Thanks for having me, Any, guys. Anytime, man. How's your day today, bro? Pretty good. Pretty good. Just glad it's Friday. Thank God, aren't we all, man? That's why no we doubt. we just love Fridays. Can't beat that. No doubt. You know, man. So, stay, man. What's your major, buddy? Uh, I'm a PR major and a business minor. Okay. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh yeah. Cool. And uh, what's your, what year are you in right now? I'm a junior. Nice. Junior, my man. One more year left, right? Yeah, one more. Got to love out it. of here. I love it, man. So, uh, tell us about Fred Before Bed, man. Uh, yeah. So, Fred Before Bed is a weekly show uh, that we do at the TV station here on campus. Mm -hmm. Um, there's like we, you know. Uh, we do like interviews every week with like different canvas groups, and then we talk about like different things going on like around like the entertainment world, like pop culture stuff with right. like music, movies, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we have a musical guest every episode, so uh, we're in our third season right now. So it's uh, it's been going great. Gotta love it, third season. That's amazing, bro. Like so, you do it like uh, per like semester. That's how you come to season. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. So like first, well, like one year ago, then would have been like our. Uh, our first season, yeah. Nice. That's beautiful. That's beautiful, man. Yeah. So how did all you guys came together and got the cast together? How did that evolve? Uh, well, I started off at the uh, at the TV station fall of my sophomore year. I just wanted to join just, like, for something to do. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, and then I joined a show called Sports Hour, which is just, like, a sports talk show. And then after my first semester, I just thought it would be a cool idea to try and start my own show. And... Uh, Scott, who's one of the co-hosts, he was on Sports Hour, so that's how I got him. Mm -hmm. Alex, who is another one of the co-hosts, uh, she just joined too, and was she was gonna actually start her own show, mm -hmm. but we kind of like just combined, and then she joined Fred Before Bed. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, and then everybody who I like, who are like hosts and stuff, I just know like from like being friends who I like wanted to get on and stuff. So, oh. but there's a lot more that goes into that. There's like we have like a huge crew of like I'm pretty sure we have like yeah. 40 people on our crew right. to like you know the week to week, week, like to week. operations Prep. and everything mm -hmm. so so what time does the show air wednesdays at 10 wow. yep live every week wow uh, that's that's amazing bro and then uh, Alice, Alice, the only uh, female on part of the panel correct uh no lauren turner too oh really she's okay. also so you swap Wait, is alex or alex alex, oh, okay, alex. alex. yeah braggins right alex is there every week and then lauren uh she swaps with aiden liquor they oh. uh they swap every week okay yeah have you ever had like uh two females all on one panel yeah, Lauren and Alex have been on okay. before, like at like the same episode and stuff. So, so mm -hmm. so you would consider this more of a like a uh, late night talk show? Like yeah, that's, exactly. That's I kind of like I'm like a big like fan SNL. of like, mm -hmm. well, more like Jimmy Fallon, like okay. the Tonight Show. Like I'm a big fan of Jimmy Fallon okay. and stuff, and like, so I guess that's pretty much what it was like inspired by. Like where like mm -hmm. I kind of thought it'd be a cool idea to do that. So because most late night shows only have like uh, two hosts, well, one host and then somebody, mm -hmm. you know, which happened to be J Justin. And then, uh, but you guys are four, you guys, so just like a yeah. whole different type of ball game. Yeah, so it's like I'm kind of like the the, the main host of it who like facilitates like when we talk about like what's like the rundown, like the stuff uh, right. I was saying, like the entertainment news and stuff mm -hmm. like that, mm -hmm. and pop culture. Uh, and then we have like our panel of three people, and then we do that for like the first half hour, and then mm -hmm. Justin does interview, like mm -hmm. an interview with like the campus groups, like gotcha. for the next one, and then like. But with the interviews and stuff, like it starts off like he'll just ask them questions, like promoting themselves. Mm -hmm. But then the uh, he kind of like twists it and makes it like pretty much just tries to like mess with them and like makes it like <laughs> really uncomfortable. <laughs> ask him like really weird questions and stuff. So and plus we're after ten o'clock, so we're technically allowed to like say whatever we want. That's that's nice. I yeah. wish, wish, wish we, we had that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, did you guys ever think the show would last this long? Not really. No. Like when we started. Um, I didn't expect it to kind of take off as quickly as it did. Mm -hmm. Like we, one of the things we do on the show is like live tweeting. So as we're going along, like people will tweet at us, like either questions or like they'll like talk, like comments on like what we're talking about and stuff. And like we got, we like from the get go had like a huge response, like on Twitter and Facebook and stuff. And then like we're allowed to keep track. We can keep track of like our online views, not like on and off campus ones. Mm -hmm. um, and like the numbers, we were just like really surprised that like, that like many people ratings, yeah. like from the get-go are watching and stuff. That's so what's up. Uh, that's, that's what we're trying to do here, too. We're trying to have people tweet questions at us yeah. and have the show rolling. Um, So what's, what's your goal for this season, for the show? Just what's the goal? Have people well, yeah, keep watching. <laughs> have people keep watching, honestly. Uh, last season, we broke our like online view record for one episode. I think we... 
it was like 127 of online views alone. That was Will's episode. <laughs> it was actually no. Uh, it was uh, we had DeFi on, okay. and that was that one. No, a lot of people watched for Will's. I think for Will's episode when uh, him and Josh were on, I think there was like 80 or 90 views on it. Nice. So which is a lot. I mean, like the the previous Average. thing for like online views is like 40 or something like yeah, that. Yeah. So. I mean, it's cool to know, and then like we're just gonna just keep trying to expand it and make it bigger and bigger, I guess. How how did y'all set up that? Um, I think it was last semester. You had the president on on there. Yeah, and it was we right uh, in the middle of the Williams Center. Yeah, we did a we held a talent show last semester. Um, and pretty much like I just went and I had a couple meetings with her and stuff, seeing that like if she would want to like you know like be interviewed and then be a part of it and stuff right. and. She was totally for it and everything, and uh, we've actually been talking to her. She's gonna come on like the show as like a guest this semester too. Oh. Um, so yeah, it, it was That's it was pretty up. cool. That's, nice. That's amazing. Um, actually, like um, what I was gonna say was like, how much have you guys grew since season one? As far as well, when like, we first started, production wise, I know. That. Yeah, production wise, like starting off, I think we start. It was pretty cool. Like at uh, like the first activities night where we were doing signups, like the number of people who signed up for the station like jumped a lot like mm-hmm. i think there was like 50 people who signed up so right. the first like produ- like crew like all together i think there was probably like 20 of us or so mm-hmm. um with everybody between like you know behind the cameras and in right. the control room and everything and now we're up to i think like there's like 40 some so we pretty much like doubled like how many people are a part mm-hmm. of it since the start i mean it's it takes a lot of people to like you know, yeah. make it happen every week. I so. know, actually, because uh, the this this segment, like true interview, was supposed mm-hmm. to make it supposed to be like a TV show, actually. But then when mm-hmm. I saw like <coughs> the production, you gotta have at least a lot of people be yeah. willing to be it. And I, I we don't want to be chasing people around. Yeah. That's, that's what we thought. You know, the radio show a lot more it's simpler. Mm-hmm. We come in here, we got the cameras, so we still record it. No, yeah, for sure. So yeah, I have seen and you guys yeah. do a great job. So. No, we appreciate that. That's why I was like, yo, you had me yeah. your show last last mess. I'm like, yo, let's let's get mm-hmm. Brendan in here. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, it was and, good. And plus, you'll be performing real soon. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so I'm assuming uh, Fred before F- Fred before bed is the longest running late night show uh, in the past decade. Would you pers- would you say? Uh, in Aphrodonia. Aphrodonia, or have have there been previous late night shows? I don't know about. I mean, like late night shows. There's been like mm-hmm. a couple. I mean, it's it depends. I don't know. It depends. Like three seasons is pretty good. Like with like how well we've right. been doing with exactly. it and everything. But I mean, there have been shows that been around for mm-hmm. yeah. you know like since before like I started going here gotcha. and stuff. Like a couple of them, but yeah. Oh, so so well. tell us like what is the structure of Fred Before Bed? Like, what do you guys start off with? So yeah, it starts off. Uh, we just like do our intro and everything, mm-hmm. and then um, we talk about. Normally, like we'll have groups who will like come just like, oh, like can you just like mention like so and so events coming out? So we'll do like mm-hmm. shout outs to and events shout-outs. and stuff. And then the first half hour of the show is when we talk about like pop culture stuff, mm-hmm. like whatever stuff's going on, like how there's been like award shows the past couple weeks we'll talk about like stuff like that Mm -hmm. like we'll talk like we find like really like funny stories too and stuff like that that people might not know about um and talk about that for the first half hour and then uh after that we have the interview portion with a with a camp with like a different campus group or personality Mm -hmm. every week um then after that normally we'll air like whether it's like a post-production skit or something like that that we're doing or like a just like a commercial break and then that leads into the uh the musical guest at the end of the show to close it out. Uh, so just kind of kind of rebuttal on like um, the question we asked earlier. So uh, mm-hmm. how do you like? Because every season is different. Yeah. So uh, you always want to gain new viewers, new audience. Yeah, and yeah. So uh, how, what like what are some techniques you're trying to do now to kind of make the show a lot more better than what was what last semester? I know, like you said, like the Twitter interaction. Yeah, Twitter. Twitter's like a really big part of it. I mean, like the cool thing to see too is that be con- like Twitter. I would say is like mm-hmm. the main thing because. People will see like their friends tweeting about it, and exactly. then they'll like Retweet check it. out our page and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And then they'll be like, "Oh, what are they tweeting about? Mm-hmm. What are they tweeting to?" Then they'll go watch and stuff. So it's kind of cool though, because like every episode, it's like we get like <coughs> halfway through once people start tweeting at us right. and stuff, and then we just like start gaining more and more, more, followers, and more followers and stuff. Like we're at like we're almost at like five hundred now. Mm-hmm. I mean, which is five hundred followers. Which that's is pretty, pretty good. good. That's I good. Saw that. yeah, that's yeah. that's really good. I saw that. Not too long ago. Yeah, it was really I would good. say probably social media has been like our our biggest help with like getting it off the ground and everything. So funny thing is yeah. that we've been learning this. Mm-hmm. Don't think twice, it'll be alright But you know I gotta put up a fight I see that smile across the room It's just so dangerous What can I do? 
By the look that you have on your face Time's a foot race but I'm stuck in the ground Since you've been here I'm in too deep Yours to keep and you know that I want you But it's not my time, it's not your place Take a look inside, I'll show you the way It's not like that, it never was Now you're left on the floor I'm right here, I'm still crawling Now you're begging me for more Cause there's the door whoa, whoa, whoa. Turn me out and upside down The clock keeps ticking, what can I take? So many miles may seem so far away But you know I got a reason to stay When I used to look at you I had not the slightest clue What else can I say since my breath's taken away? I want more but it's not my time, it's not your place Take a look inside, I'll show you the way It's not like that, it never was Now you're left on the floor I'm right here, I'm still crawling now you're begging me for more Cause there's the door whoa, whoa, whoa. It's not like that, it never was Now you're left on the floor I'm right here baby, I'm still crawling now you're begging me for more Cause there's the door <laughs> Exclusive Thank A you. true nice. interview Thank you So how long have you been playing the guitar for? <coughs> uh, since like I was 14 So yeah 14 to nice. like 5 That's Going on 6 years That's crazy you know what, man? I've been playing guitar since Never. five minutes ago, man. You know oh what I'm saying? Man. I got the little thing. I bought it about a week ago, you know? <laughs> hey, I'm about to learn. Kelvin, you good teacher, yeah. bro? <laughs> I, don't, I wish I could know how to play a guitar, to be honest. Man, it's wavy. <laughs> so you've been um, playing since 14, you said? Yeah, I was 14. So. How long have you been singing for? Uh, probably since I was like 16 or 17. <laughs> and then uh, I've been playing with my band for about two years now. So. Nice. Nice. What's the name of your band? Kill the Clock.